Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We're going to be playing with a tower that uh, I used to play a good bit with, uh, but then kind of stopped once I fell in love with ninjas, wizards, and subs. So all we're really doing here, guys, is switching out the wizard for the engineer, and this game is epic. You guys definitely want to stay for the end of it because it gets... It, it just gets crazy. That's all that I can really say is it just gets crazy. So, um, we're facing, uh, what is his name? Hickenick, something like that. So, we're facing him. We're going to start off with our sub down here. And our goal, as always, is to make sure that we have a good uh, base defense <clears throat> just to help hold off from anything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the sub up to the air burst darts. And then we're just going to kind of hang out for a little bit and then start working on our eco. But first, we also want to get that ninja up there. Why, you may ask? Well, when you get advanced intel for your submarine, it can then take on the powers of the towers within its range. So since that ninja monkey can see camouflage, we put him up there at the entrance. So that now means that the sub can see camouflage. Once you uh, upgrade to the ballistic missile as well on the sub, that now means that you have lead camo popping power within the range of the ninja monkey so if you get uh, camo lead within the range of the sub and not the ninja monkey then you're in trouble and you can't pop it but you also have lead camo popping power once you upgrade the ninja to the flash bomb anyway so it just depends on which way you want to go so we get advanced intel right now and then the sub starts working his way <clears throat> excuse me i got something in my throat the sub starts working his way up to the top taking out those things that air burst start guys is so good the sub is such a good tower early game because it really can hold off by itself i mean look at this it's owning those greens without a problem whatsoever doesn't take that much to upgrade it's not that expensive um you can generally get to you can get to the airburst starts by the end of round two if not earlier um so it's a really good sub it's a really good tower it's a really good sub it's a good tower so if you guys haven't tried it out definitely make sure that you do i promise you promise you you're gonna enjoy it um but we've got our ninja up here we're slowly working on our eco we're up to 319 i've got two thousand dollars right now i'm gonna go ahead and spam a little bit and then save up for the flash bomb you can see that it's 2750 so we're gonna go ahead try and get our eco up a little bit maybe around 400 or so so that we can hang out and just wait until we can get that flash bomb because um mr uh Hickenick can send lead very soon and right now we don't have any lead popping power so we've got to save up for that flash bomb he could send lead right now and if i absolutely needed to i could sell the sub and uh upgrade the ninja to flash bomb and then get a lower level sub as well if i needed to but he's not sending any leads honestly the leads around nine are pretty slow too uh they come pretty spaced out so it's not too uh, too much of a worry but in about four seconds we'll be able to get our flash bomb right there boom here we go come on i wasn't paying attention upgrade that flash bomb that's going to be beast for us um there goes a little uh camo balloon but it's not a problem our sub down here doing good we're at 400 eco guys at round 13 generally like i say i always like to be at about a thousand if not more by uh around 20 to 24 sometimes that can be hard depending on how um the player on the uh, how the other player is playing because if they're rushing too much then sometimes you just got to upgrade your towers and you can't get eco it really just depends on how aggressive the other person is also the map that you're playing the map that you're playing um really really does affect how easily you can get echo eco <laughs> because with a map like this where things overlap my sub could be shooting a balloon right in front of it and it could hit a balloon all the way up at the top by the ninja monkey so if you're on a map <clears throat> where there isn't that much crossfire then you have to put down more balloons or more towers and you have to make sure uh, that you cover everything but here we pretty much cover everything uh, with only two towers um, so yeah <laughs> but here goes our first engineer that was why did I just pause like that that was probably one of the most awkward pauses I've ever had uh, so we finally put down our first engineer we're gonna go with fast um sentries over there get our sentries out real quick real quick and then get um i think we go larger area first yeah so we go larger area first 
and then we're gonna go with the foam that gets rid of the camo and uh, the lead and everything. So, guys, I've never done this many engineers before. As you guys saw in the thumbnail, there's a lot of engineers on this map. The only thing about that that <clears throat> is a problem is that their sentries need areas to uh, kind of make their home, you know what I mean? So you can't put a tower on top of a sentry, so you gotta be careful, you can't really fill up too much, otherwise you're not gonna have room for your sentry gun. So, we got one of them down, we're gonna go cleansing foam, and then we're gonna get the balloon trap. If you guys don't know what the balloon trap is, it collects balloons, and then you tap on it once it's full, and you can get money from it. So it's actually kind of like a little farm because otherwise you're not making money from balloons. So it's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and get Ballistic Missile down there on our sub and uh, he's gonna start doing some work. We're gonna start building up a pretty good sub base down here. We're around 20, our eco's at 734. So <clears throat> as long as by around 24, I'm at around 1,000, I'll be happy. Now I'm not too sure what I ended up at on this one, but we've got our subs down there got a pretty good defense right now so we're gonna start working on our eco and try and get that up um, we're pretty close to 800 now we're still at around 20 so that's good we don't have to take it too fast but you do want to pay attention to your eco all throughout the game guys and if you notice things slowing down uh, then you want to just throw some money into the eco and you'll make it back pretty quickly <clears throat> it's very very important um, some of you may still be wondering what is eco well that number in the middle of the screen up at the top that says 918 right now that's eco that is uh, the money that you get every six seconds. So every time that I send a balloon to um, the opposing player, unless it's a ceramic or higher, then um, I make money. So all the way up to the black balloons, you make $6. Pinks, you make $3.60. If you want to make the most eco, you're going to want to be sending pinks at round 15, I think it is. I'm not too sure. But you can see the pinks that I'm sending right there. It's the $90 pinks and they come out very, very quickly, so you can just spam it. We're at round 22 right now, guys. 965 eco, that's what I'm talking about. We've got our third engineer down. I'm gonna put three of them down right here, real close to each other, so that we can, <clears throat> um, so that we don't have to worry about the sentries blocking them. I built one of them up to the sprocket uh, on the right side so that it shoots faster, and i would never done it before. I don't really like the right side of the engineer because all it does is power up one of your towers and I don't know, only powering up one tower doesn't really do that much in my opinion unless it's like a super monkey or something. Um, so I definitely will probably never go that route again. You can see it on the right side, target tower becomes super powered for 60 seconds. So 60 seconds is a long time. That's actually a really long time. So I guess if you had some good towers down, like if you had a helicopter down and you could boost that thing for 60 seconds, boss, that would be ridiculous. But you can see round 23 guys, over a thousand eco right now, absolutely killing it we've got a really good defense i'm gonna keep on going at it we're at 1100 eco i'm gonna keep on pushing for it and we're also gonna keep on upgrading our engineers you can see that right now we've got five engineers down and they're actually doing a pretty good job because their sentry guns are just beasts their sentry guns are beast mode we haven't gotten a balloon trap yet once we get the balloon trap i'll show that to you guys i'm sure that a lot of you guys that are watching this have been playing for a while but some of you guys are new and for those new people i'm so happy you're joining the balloon brigade <laughs> I didn't know I was going to say that, I just made that up. Balloon Brigade! So, I'm so happy you guys are playing because it's a blast. This game is so much fun. I love getting paired up against you guys. Uh, I've gotten a couple of tweets of people being like, Oh my gosh, Molt, I just played you! But then I also get a bunch of tweets of people like, Molt, round freaking 48, my eco was 6,000, and I'm like, what? So ridiculous. So, thank you so much for the tweets, thank you so much for the support in this, guys. I love this. If you guys are loving it, hit that like button for me, alright? Let's see if we can get just a ridiculous amount of likes on these videos because I want to be known for not only Clash but for other games and Balloons is one of those games that I've literally always loved. I played Balloons before Clash of Clans, then Clash came out, I stopped playing. Boom, there you can see that uh, Balloon Trap right there in the middle of the screen with the yellow bars across it. Um, once the balloons get into it, you'll see what happens, it starts flashing, there it goes, so there's a couple balloons in it. Once it fills up, <clears throat> then you tap it, you get a little extra money. We got 20, we got 4,000, boom, we got 4,000, and I think we just made, yep, we just made another balloon trap, you can see that one up the top, it's covered by foam, it's flashing like crazy, balloons are going into it, it's gonna fill up, I think you get $560, I'm not too sure exactly of uh, the number, but here comes some Moab, so we gotta be careful, I'm gonna use my battle energy, I wasn't too sure what was going on, and I realized, alright, uh, these engineers aren't going to be able to hold off on their own. I do want to have a bunch of engineers up here, but we're also going to need to build up some stuff. 
So we've got a third trap up there. You can see that full one at the very top of the screen. I don't even know if I noticed it during the thing. I was trying to put down this guy. I collect there. So you get 500 right there. Um, I'm pretty sure they can fill up a little bit more once they start flashing and you can get a little bit more money. But generally, once they get that pink and blue bar, you can see it right there. That's when you go ahead and tap on it. Yeah, 506 right there. So they can collect a little bit more just depending on uh, when you collect it and when uh, it completely fills up. So we've got some more Moabs coming in. Not too worried about them. I'm still trying to find another area for an engineer. I'm going to put one right there. Balloon traps are full. we got to collect both those. 506, 508. And then we're going to go and get another one. Guys, look at this. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight engineers down here. Uh, three of them are built on the right side so that they shoot a little bit faster with that sprocket power. we got to try and collect that... Uh Ugh, we gotta try and collect that trap up top. It's full. 506 again. So many balloons are going in here. It would be crazy if all of these guys were upgraded to the balloon trap. I've never done that before. I feel like that could be pretty ridiculous. Two full balloon traps again. They're 542 for that top one. That ends up adding up to a lot, guys. We've already got $12,000 right now that we're saving up. I get that sprocket ability. I'm like, alright, what is this? So I click on it and it says select tower to overclock. So all I do is I just pick one of the sprocket ones. He starts going crazy. He starts shooting things. I'm going to use my battle energy right there, collect those traps, and we're still going to be good. Now, I'm only at 1,500 eco. I do want to try and get that up, but I also want to build a couple more subs because I need some more big balloon popping power. Talking about Moabs, BFBs, um, ceramics, leads. I need popping power for those things. So that's why I'm building all these subs down here right now. I need to collect that trap, but I'm not paying attention to it. We're going to get that in just a second. I'm going to keep on getting these subs, just grinding it out, uh, building on the two left and three right. Um, so a two, three sub is probably my favorite sub. I rarely go with the four, two sub. Sometimes it's good, depending on if the map circles around the water. Um, but otherwise, I don't use them too much. On the castle map, it's pretty good if you get to the intro. But we're not on the castle map right now. We are on this snake uh, map and we're just gonna keep on going after this so we're gonna get another balloon trap right there guys we've got three balloon traps four balloon traps look at that we have maxed out so many of these engineers is ridiculous we got one two three four five six seven eight engineers on this map guys absolutely crazy I could build more but again I was worried about the popping power so I went ahead and continued building subs down here uh, at the bottom. But right now, as you can see, I'm spamming those $90 pinks. It sends out three pinks at a time. We're going to send all of those out. And uh, you can see that, that the whole point of that isn't to make the other person lose lives because they just turn and kill them like immediately. Um, so the whole point of it is for me to invest and end up making more money. Right now, we're getting $1,600 every six seconds, guys. All these BFBs are coming in. I'm not going to use my, uh, well, no, I did use my battle energy at the beginning of it, but I'm not too worried about it. I freaked out there for a second. I built the 4-2 sub, and I was like, eh, I don't freaking want this thing. So I sell it, which is a waste of money, but not that big of a deal. We're just going to go ahead and sell that and get that 4,300 back. We are at 10,000. I'm going to go ahead and use that enrage ability. I don't, I think that, yeah, so I put it on one of the subs. You can see that sub in the bottom has a little green circle flying around it. Maybe if you had a whole bunch of engineers with that power, that'd be pretty crazy. Uh, but I just don't think that it's as good as a balloon trap because a balloon trap helps you make you money, which brings your eco up, you're doing good. Uh, what I do want to do here in just a second, though, is get that 2 4 sub so that I can uh, pop BFBs in one freaking shot. It is ridiculous. That first strike ability costs $20,000. That's like a brand new car, or it's like a sub with first strike so it's beast uh, so i've got the majority of the subs on there that i want the guy at the top doesn't know how the guy at the right doesn't know how to stack his subs you can see that i've fit so many more subs in my water than he has i'm at one two three four five six seven eight nine he's at one two three four five six seven eight nine he's at nine and he's filled up practically the whole thing i'm pretty sure i can fit two more subs um but look that one sub is still enraged or uh it just finished using its power from uh that two four engineer up there our balloon traps are filling up super quick we're gonna enrage another one of these uh subs down here my eco guys almost at 2000 so it's not too bad especially for round 37 however i would like to be a little bit higher i've been spending a lot of my money on subs when i could be spending it on eco but we're making a, we're making so much that i'm not too worried about it i'm gonna go ahead and get a ninja down here because i saw some camo going through so i just upgrade him uh into a 
2-4. I think I upgrade him into a 2-4 ninja in just a second so that we can get that sabotage supply line. Because sabotage supply line is so good. Slows down all the balloons coming in. It's epic. 2-4 ninja monkeys are by far my favorite. Boom. First strike cap capability. We're going to get that. And then I think that I try and get my eco up to 2,000 in just a second. I'm not too sure about that. Um, look at that. So that trap right there is worth 704, guys. I'm going to select another tower down here. Um, I just select another engineer up at the top to just start doing work. Him and his sentries are going to go after it. We're taking everything down fairly easily. The BFPs are going down way faster uh, than Mr. Hickenix are. We've only got one left. He's got three left. And I think, that, uh, do we even use our first strike capability? We might have. I'm not too sure. Um, but that first strike ca capability, why do I keep stumbling over that? Is ridiculous, guys. That one shots anything. It's beast mode. I've only got one of those subs down there right now. There we go. We're going to go ahead and spam our eco. I was hoping we could go super late game with this guy, but at this point, it doesn't really look like that's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and try and find another spot just to get another engineer down for you guys to make it an insane engineer uh, game. I don't know if he's not targeting correctly with his... Uh, with his sub because honestly they should have been targeted on strong I think a lot of them should have but it looks like they are about to get through which is so sad only round 39 guys I want to I want to face an opponent that can let me get up to like round 48 because I think I have the capability to do it for sure even even higher than that if I'm building up correctly but all most of these people can't uh, hold out that long and it's kind of stressful I'll be honest so we're around 39 right now I'm gonna get another first strike capability I'm gonna uh, <laughs> collect from my balloon traps this guy is slowly fading away he's got two mortars that are just beast uh mode both of them are max on the left and right i think that one is on the right um i've never done max mortars before we're gonna get one more sub down here go ahead get it up to ballistic and advanced intel looks like he might be going down here guys He's, he even used his battle energy, and so many balloons are getting by. There they go. Did he stop them? Oh, my gosh. Yes, he stopped them. So he stopped those balloons. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> he lost. And the reason that you can see this right here is because it is a, uh, a share. I did it, and I had to show it to you guys. So all those engineers, guys, epic. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button for me. I love you all very much, and I will see you on the next Balloons Tower Defense Battles video, guys. I love you all. I love you.